This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by the Janitorial Store, the online community for successful cleaning business owners. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. Lately, I've been doing a lot of driving between the Twin Cities and my hometown of Wisconsin. So when I leave in the morning, I like to treat myself to a caribou coffee and their delicious lemon bread. On one of my recent trips, I decided to go into the store instead of going through the drive-thru. I got my order right away and went back to the car. But I suddenly realized that I had my bread with me, but I didn't have my coffee. Now I thought I must have set it down when I stopped to grab a napkin on my way out the door, but it wasn't there. She would actually never gave me the coffee. So I went up and I asked for my coffee and back out the door I went. Now when I got in the car, I took a sip of the coffee and it was lukewarm and I hate lukewarm coffee. So back in I went and I asked for a hot coffee. Now the gal who waited on me was so sorry that I had to come back in twice that she gave me a large coffee instead of the medium that I ordered and she gave me a coupon for a free coffee for my next trip. Now I could have gotten a little ticked off because she made two mistakes on my order and I had to keep going back in, but I left happy with how she handled it and I've been back many times since. So what I want to ask you is, how do you handle it when your employees make mistakes while cleaning your, your accounts? Do you go above and beyond to make it right, or do you simply fix the problem and move on? Now I'm not saying that fixing the problem and moving on is wrong, but I am saying that if you go above and beyond what is expected, you'll make more of a lasting impression on your clients and they may even become more loyal to your business. There's a quote from Maya Angelou that you might have heard before. It goes like this, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. I'd like you to think about that when it comes to customer service. Now here's a cleaning story, or here's a story that a cleaning business owner told me about. A client that she had for about three years called to complain that the break room floor had some streaks from the mop and the restroom floors were dirty. She also said that the cleaning staff were using her hand towels and pine saw. Well, after researching, the cleaning business owners discovered that what the client claimed was true. Now, of course, she apologized and offered to replace the supplies, but the client said, don't worry about it. Well, she decided to go ahead and make it up to her and bought her a case of hand towels and a gallon of pine saw. She also burnished the floors that night instead of just mopping them. Well, the client was thrilled with the result of the floor. In fact, she called up the next day to thank her and asked her to clean all the carpet in the office too. So this cleaning business owner learned that a complaint can be turned into a loyal client and even generate an unexpected sale when you respond quickly and when you go above and beyond what they ever expected. This situation could have gone in a completely different direction had she just told her employees to do a better job of mopping the floors. But because of her desire to make this client happy, she's created a loyal client and she knows this customer will remember how she made her feel. So I'd like to ask you again, how do you handle it when your employees make mistakes while cleaning your accounts? Please share your thoughts on this topic by posting your responses below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. That's it for today's show. Be sure to post your comments on this episode below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. And if you'd like more personalized help for your cleaning business, be sure to visit our online communities, thejanitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. I'm Jean Hansen, and I'd love to connect with you on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.